Here, mind holding these for me? Of course, uh... What? I never did get what he sees in her. Sure, she can land the punch, but only because people don't expect it. Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look at an animated series on Disney Plus, Marvel's What If. If you know me from any of my videos, by now is that I love animation. Whether it is family fun to older action adventure science fiction from Japan, I will always give animation a chance. Here comes Marvel's What If, and what can I say? Wow. Marvel's What If was produced by Marvel Studios and released by Disney on their streaming service, Disney Plus. I was amazed with how Marvel was able to change from a superhero theme to an action spy film like Black Widow to an action martial arts film with Shang-Chi. It feels like they want to own the animation arena as well. Loving the 2D animation from DC Comics and Warner Brothers Animation, I never felt Marvel could quite compete and what they released never truly impressed. Leaving that theme behind, moving to the 3D arena with 2D cel shaded feel that gives off a drawing aesthetic at times makes this style a favorite of mine moving forward and for its movement and style. The series produced 9 episodes for season 1 and they don't disappoint. Although they do differ in look and more cartoony comic book look, you still feel those characters from the films come alive. As for the voice acting, well it looks like they grabbed the original actors from the films to reprise their roles for much more authentic city. All episodes feel like a parody many fans wish for or something that has been out of left field that just seems fun but everyone relates to the MCU and not officially with the main comic book line. They took the MCU that we all know and have watched to date and made fun side stories of what can happen if a certain point in the story was changed or even tweaked. This works great as although short the character development is already there from what we remembered but now with a new outlook. The action is fast and furious and will surprise many on how well choreographed they all are, and indeed they are. I was happy to see the series not holding back in the story, animation, and even, of course, the action. The single best theme is that by the end of the series, all episodes in the series actually matter. Don't skip any and you will see how every one of the different stories relate to one another. Sometimes small and sometimes big, I never felt underwhelmed, but usually the latter. This series has become one of my favorite de-stress animation coming home from work and watching with my family. Fun and whimsical, you realize this is really a fun distraction and although they connect in the end, have no true real meaning to the main MCU and what's to come. But fun and distraction can be great when done well, and Marvel just did that. Marvel's What If gets an 8.5 out of 10 for distracting and fun, quick episodes that throws a big punch of action to smooth it all out. I'm finally happy to see some animation I truly enjoyed from Marvel. They need to keep this level of excellence going into every animated project they do from now on. That's it for this look at Marvel's What If animated series. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload.